Hello and welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you that have strongly Sagittarius in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter for March 2022. Please have in mind that this is a general reading, so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is down there below in the description box. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see. Sagis. Oh my goodness, what's wrong with you? Nine of Swords. Worrying is not going to change the outcome, but then again, you know, it's a, you, you know, you, what's wrong with you? Sadies. Sagittarius. Ten of Wands. It's like you have a, or you, 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 it's like, I want to break free. I want to break free. Five of Pentacles. You know, don't shoot the messenger. Mm. Nine of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. You want to break free from that energy. Mm. You want that. You are desiring that. You want to be happy again. Now, it could be that you are like... Hoping Wishing for love to enter and you feel very lonely Okay, it could be that you are thinking about someone specific Wanting to reconcile or maybe you are wondering where they are at what they're doing Why they're not communicating or maybe things have just changed between the two of you, right? It could be Okay, so Sagis, again the chariot, this could be like long distance, connect, a long distance connection, maybe this person is far away from you, traveling, or maybe they're just far away, as I said, sorry if I'm repeating, this could be a long distance relationship, you feel lonely, Sagis, you feel lonely. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. Mm. Two more shuffles for Sagittarius. Could be that you are waiting for some kind of a message or news. And it's not coming in maybe you had some plans I'm also hearing that that some plans are not like um, unfolding the way that you expected them King of Cups energy cancer Pisces Scorpio so it could be that you are dealing with the water sign Sagis okay I feel that we are ready so let's see we also have Shongi Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles. So this is the energy that you want to break free from. Again, it could be that you are dealing with someone that is stringing you along. You could be also carrying other people's like negative feelings, thoughts, emotions. Again, there is a feminine energy here that even though she's not crippled, you know, she she has someone by her side that is a cripple. That is, yes. So she's carrying this person's karma, this person's energy. I don't feel that you want to, like, do that anymore. If this is the case. <laughs> you don't want that, I told you. No, no, no. You want to walk away from that. You want to leave all this energy behind. Look at you. As I said, you want to break free. And head towards a different direction. So, let's see. Sagittarius. First card for you is the Six of Pentacles. 
Now, this is a situation that is not balanced, is not balanced at all. Really interesting. Really what I'm getting here, I'm telling you. Really what I'm getting here. Look. Mm -hmm. I feel that this is you. Giving your attention, your money, your attention, your time to someone that is not worthy of you. Someone that is not willing to match you or put the effort or like even like even like what I'm getting Sagis here is like this person is not even like um grateful or or is acknowledging your 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 efforts time attention it's like they are like maybe feeling that you owe them something maybe this is like their energy maybe they feel that everything owes them something i don't like this person's energy but i don't think that you even like them anymore i don't feel that it's like you know like could be that this person also has taken you for granted could this be a sibling, a family member, a friend? Uh, yes, of course. Uh -huh. Yes, it could be. It could be. What did I just do? I'm sorry about that. So here we are. Keeping moving forward. We have, we have the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I strongly feel that this, feel that this is you. Ready to cut this off. Cut it off. You're like, no. You feel used somehow, emotionally, physically. Yeah, you feel used. Um, you you want to change this. You, you are ready to transform this. Could be that you are dealing with a Scorpio here. That is very manipulative. Could be. It's a soulmate energy with the Six of Cups. Maybe you know this person for quite some time. As I said earlier, this could be a friend, a family member, a sibling, yes. Because there is a connection here, there is, there is a, a, a tie to this person. Five of Wands. With the five of wands, like, like, I feel this like giving this person the benefit of a doubt. <sighs> giving them chance and chance and to prove themselves, to prove their love, to prove them that they are worthy. Blah, blah, blah. Three of cups. I, I, I'm also seeing like this is very interesting. I've never noticed this before. There is a boat here, like really, I've never noticed this before. So again, I'm getting long distance connections here for some of you that maybe this person was promising you that they will come to see you or they will travel towards you. Eight of Pentacles. It's like when this, like when I'm working on something, like this is what I'm hearing. I'm working on something. I'm very busy. I'm very focused. Mm. This is why I'm not paying attention to you, or this is why I'm not coming to see you, or this is why. But don't worry. We'll meet. Uh, we'll, we'll catch up. It's like it, it feels like this person is, is, is coming towards you when they need you or when they want something. And you're stuck here with the Eight of Swords. Maybe somehow you feel obligated. I don't know, Sajis. You know. Hmm. Okay. 
And there's also conflict here with the five of wands. It's like I have been giving you uh, space. I have been giving this time. I have been giving the space. waiting for things to change waiting for my, my manifestation to come into fruition but i'm not seeing it and you know it's like you are realizing now that maybe this will, will not come forward will not come for you because it's not probably meant i guess yes but then again let's see again i'm getting that someone is like toxic Someone is a crippled here. Someone needs healing. And you are like the good summer, um, Samaritis. Oh, I don't know how they call that in English. The summer. Um, summer, summer sorry. <laughs> sorry. Summer. I cannot find the word. Uh, <laughs> Like someone that helps, you know. And they don't get acknowledged for that. And I'm not saying that you're doing it to get acknowledged or, or to, no, but it's like fair, you know, it's like there's no, there's no, there's no, there's something wrong here, totally. There's something that is not right. It's like it's not karmically it's not balanced it's not fair okay sajis oh, five of swords really okay five of swords the five of swords is about betrayal it's about someone betraying you some someone not being authentic someone not speaking the truth Oh, I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> someone that has options. I'm just going to keep it there. Someone that also has options. They're like getting from you whatever you are willingly giving them. But then again, having other people giving them things, feeling the emotions, time, energy. I mean, I can see it also here with the Six of Pentacles. You can see that. You can see that this person is like... Three people here... Three people here. Three, four, five, five, three. Fighting, fighting for this connection. You're fighting for this connection. You're fighting for this King of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy. You are in that energy of 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 of, of masculine. You're masculine. You're like in your masculine energy, fighting for this. I feel that you have been fighting for this for quite some time. And I, I it's like you're hanging from a uh, from a thread. This is oh, this connection is like. Very, very fragile energy here. Oh, the strength guard fighting, you know, like, oh, we're going to make it. This is going to work out. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing all this? If you are doing that, why? Because you want a new start. You want a new beginning. Look, you want to, to get out of this energy. But again, I'm not seeing you here, like, and again, this is not for all of you. It's not possible. This message is not for all of you. You want to get out of this five of pentacles energy, but you want to do it with this person. It's like you are giving this person your hand and you're trying to pull this person out of the gutter, out of the mud. That's why you're stuck. Eight of Swords. Because again, you're soulmates. I see that you are soulmates. 
I see that. So it's very hard for you to let go. You don't want to let go of this person. You want to let go of the energy. You want to let go of this energy, but you're, you're not, you don't want to let go of this person. You want a new start with this person. A new start for both of you. This is maybe why you are like, so like fighting for it and sticking around and even if this person is hurting you or betraying you and it's not that you don't know you know you know it hurts my heart because it feels like for a lot of you you you, you know you are an option for this person you're just an option This person is dealing with a lot of people, but it is, you know that, it's not that it's a secret. You know that this person is dealing with a lot of people. I don't know if you're married to this person, or you want to get married with this person, or it's like, I don't really, like really, because we have the Empress here. This is very, 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 very like, and you're not happy at all. You're not happy at all. You're not happy. And one day, one day I'll be happy. One day we'll be happy. One day he will come around. One day he will realize that all I've done, I've done it for him and because I love him and he will be right. You know, he will be, uh, you know, I'm just saying. Okay. I know that this reading, reading is not going to resonate with, with a lot of you. Sagittarius energy, that is your energy. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. You're fighting for this. It is your choice. Good luck. It is your choice, definitely. Okay? For sure. No one can say anything about that. No one can judge you. If you want to, to keep fighting for this, but you're not happy. That's the thing. You are hoping and wishing that one day you will be happy with this person. And maybe you will. I'm just saying, I don't know. You know. Do you know? I don't know if you know. I just feel that you are hoping and wishing that you are going to build a strong family with this person or a home. Or as I said earlier, I don't like this. I'm sorry, Sagis. I don't know why I keep doing readings like this for you. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. You are you are wanting this, Ten of Pentacles. But you're dealing with a Seven of Swords energy here. I'm sorry to say that. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm feeling. Huh. No. Yes. Like, really? Okay. I don't know what else to say, seriously. Like, I don't know what else to say. You are aiming, hoping, wishing for stability. You do want a family here. Or maybe you already have a family with, with this person. You're sticking around. Look, it's the same energy, man, I'm telling you. Hoping and wishing that you get out of this energy. That the wheel is going to turn towards your favor. And that this love is going to come together, it's going to grow. It's going to give you that ten of pentacles, that ten of cups. That one day you're going to get married, that you're going to have children. If you're not married to this person, and then it's just as the seven of swords, you really have to like, and I'm not saying if you are in a connection, I'm not saying that you should give up. I never say that. And I would never say that through thick and thin. Yes, but this person's energy takes two. Both of you need to be honest, truthful, 
both of you must want that pentacle to grow to the ten of pentacles i feel that you are doing this on your own that's the issue here that's the thing that you are fighting for this alone so yes and i'm gonna end it here this was a heavy reading sorry about that three of swords you're not where you want to be it's not heading where you you you, you would want it to you it's just like like but still you're like oof, like very persistent and yeah i'm gonna make it we'll make it but this person keeps um this person that you are dealing with keeps like showing you but you don't you don't want to see here you don't want to you're putting this person um like you have this person on a pedestal and again this is not for all of you okay it's not you're putting this person on a pedestal. It's like you love this person more than you love yourself. Uh. What is the general advice for Sagis, please? What is the general advice for Sagittarius? Thank you, Spirit. Listen to your body. Okay. So no matter how bad you... Uh, excuse me. No matter how bad we feel, our bodies are always working on our behalf to create health and vitality. Meet your body halfway by acting on the messages it sends you. Whether it's a whisper or a roar, don't ignore what, you're, what you hear. Listen to your body, it wants the best for you. Now it could be that this connection has uh, been affecting your body. It could be. Because your mind is not at peace. So your soul is not at peace. So how would your body be at peace? Like this is affecting your whole being. This connection is affecting your whole being. I mean, seeing all this struggle and that fighting, like that inner battle, the struggle, it will affect you. Just, let's see, let's pick one more from this deck for you. So, take care of yourself, okay? For those of you that this reading resonates. And I hope it's for a few of you, actually. Uh, take care of yourself, okay? Because no one will take care of you if you don't take care of yourself. We have compassion for all. Compassion is the, the, uh, the beating heart of all spiritual practices. The peace you seek comes from the peace you create. Extend your compassion to all beings today, including yourself. Everyone benefits when you are kind. May all beings be happy and free, but including you, of course. You, yes. So let's see what is your spiritual message for Sagis, please. Spiritual message for Sagittarius. Thank you. We have meditation. Meditation is a creative process. It is not something we do or need to learn. It is a simply a connection back to who you are. I think you have lost actually yourself dealing with this person. And again, maybe you are in a long-term relationship with this man, woman. Or maybe you're wishing for a long-term connection. It is simply a connection back to who you are. It is called a practice because it is training you into alignment to just be. In a space of allowing thoughts and feelings rise and fall without you having any attachment in this allowing easy non-resistant space you may release may, excuse me in this allowing easy non-resistant space you may realize there are aspects of yourself that you need to heal or recognize be you for you are wonderful Sajis. If this um, reading did not resonate with you, you can also watch your moon, your rising, your Venus, and your Jupiter. Bye, Sajis. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.